In this video, I am going to talk about the top 10 programming languages you can learn to become a great developer in uh, 2018. And I think most of these languages will work in the next coming at least three to four years. So the first language we are going to talk about is JavaScript. Now JavaScript has gained a lot of popularity in the recent five previous years and it is the top language from the last consecutive five years. So 2017 uh, JavaScript was at the top and also in 2018 JavaScript is still at the top. Uh, now the reason is that there are a lot of new frameworks and tools that are being developed purely in JavaScript like you can see react.js uh, and uh, also some of my students they are learning mean stack I just met one uh, uh, two days ago in a market and uh, I asked him what he was learning he said he, I am learning mean stack so, so the mean stack basically is mongodb expressjs angularjs and uh, I think the fourth one is um, an nodejs so all these are basically JavaScript and this is to build JavaScript uh, web applications and whole application you can develop in this just the JavaScript. So um, web applications are uh, developed a lot of time and uh, also this can be used in uh, uh, React Native I think uh, you can develop a whole mobile app for um, across different platforms like hybrid apps. Uh, using react native uh, I think it is also in JavaScript okay so the top number one is JavaScript now to the second one okay now the second one is Python uh, so Python is also a web application you can develop web applications in Python you can develop desktop apps so it is a very powerful language I met one programmer uh, uh, who was doing uh, using Python on a very high level and uh, I think he was getting a lot of good salary. I met him in the train and uh, I talked about him uh, about Python and he said that uh, if you can get um, a lot of expertise in it, if you are an expert of uh, Python, I think you, no one is going to beat you. Okay, so this is one thing. Uh, also, there are few frameworks that are very popular uh, in um, Python, which is uh, Django. Django is very popular framework so uh, whenever you start to learn some language uh, you need to after you learn it um, you are going to go with some framework you are going to uh, select some framework like uh, Django uh, similarly in um, JavaScript and other languages there are frameworks like in PHP too okay so the first is JavaScript second is Python and the third one is Java now Java is basically the main language behind all the Android apps so you see you can become an Android developer and uh, also uh, it is used in a lot of big companies um, I think for big data developers so if you have uh, you want to go pursue that career you can go over there too so Java is number third so these top three they uh, I think they are not going to recline very easily they are the top three uh, big um, programming languages of 2018 okay now the number fourth is Ruby okay so Ruby is uh, said to be the developers best friend because it is very easy to write and it has a very uh, clean code and uh, its sentences looks like you are talking to someone okay so uh, the basic framework or the most popular framework used in Ruby is Ruby on Rails and uh, I think it is also used for uh, web applications uh, okay so uh, the next one the fifth one is going to be Swift which is um, used in iOS development and uh, all your uh, iPhone apps are being developed in Swift before that there was Objective-C uh, which was uh, also the language for iOS development but right now uh, all the latest development has been shifted to Swift Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the next one which is sixth language and which is uh, PHP. Now uh, PHP is uh, I think uh, used a lot in WordPress whole framework WordPress is basically the whole WordPress is based on PHP. So if you want to pursue that career you can uh, become a PHP developer you can develop its themes you can develop its plugins and uh, also there are other frameworks that are very popular in 
PHP. So once you learn PHP, you can shift with Laravel framework and one or more which is Code Igniter. So these are all different two frameworks which are very popular. Uh, there are more frameworks. Uh, if you want to dig into it, you can Google it. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the seventh one. Now the seventh language. Uh, now uh, from this on, I'm going to show you few languages that are very recent. Like the seventh language I'm going to talk about is Scala or Scala. I, I'm not sure. So it stands for scalable language. It is rewritten uh, with Java and it, it runs with uh, Java virtual machine. If you don't know, don't worry about it. Just uh, if you want to pursue this career. Uh, one thing about it is that it is difficult to learn. So once you are going to pass that stage, you are comfortable with it. You can get a lot of good salary jobs. And um, now the basic uh, thing it does is I think it is used for uh, uh, data analysis or things like that. And big firms like uh, Microsoft, uh, I think LinkedIn and Twitter, they are using it. I, I guess I'm not sure. Okay, so next is uh, CSS, which is um, already, you know, it is used with HTML. So HTML, CSS, they are going to go together. Um, there has been a lot of advancements in front end development these days. So front end languages are also in the top 10. Like you can see HTML and CSS. Uh, okay, so this is on the eighth number. Then on the ninth, I am going to talk about C++. C++ is basically a language which is used by Adobe and uh, uh, Microsoft and few month or more uh, uh, other companies. Uh, it is basically for I think operating systems and maybe from for some drivers and communicating different APIs. Or I am not sure about it, but I think it is basically used for operating systems and um, all the stuff it is pure development stuff and also for graphics software so if you are into some graphics softwares uh, c++ is going to be uh, your friend okay so uh, number 10 i am going to uh, show you the last one which is going to be r r is a pretty new language but i think these days there are a lot of jobs of data scientists so if you want to become a data scientist or data analyst or uh, the, if you want to represent your data into graphical uh, graphics and graphic bars and something like that, like you can see bitcoins and all that stuff, they are represented into graphs and uh, all the stock exchanges and all these things. So um, there is a lot of data on internet. You need to make it presentable. You are going to use R. Okay, so uh, one more language, R is on the 10th. Um, if you don't agree with my ranking, you can uh, specify. I have uh, learned all this from different articles and different uh, latest um, ranking systems. And uh, I have, uh, I'm going to show you the last one, which is, uh, last one is not, it is going to be a notable mention, which is Rust. Uh, Rust is another new language and it is gaining popularity. And it is, you can say, the new C language. Uh, C language is still used, but it has uh, prevented few uh, pointer issues and few other issues of C language. So it is rewritten uh, to be more better than C language. Like you can see, Scala is rewritten with Java. It is, uh, you can say, um, a, new, a new face of Java or something like that. So similarly, the Rust is going to be a new face for C language. Uh, so these are all the different uh, languages. If you want to pursue a career in development, if you want to be a developer, uh, JavaScript uh, and um, Java and uh, Python, these are the top three. And there are all other different uh, programming languages you can um, learn. One thing I would like to say, one tip is that if you want to go or pursue any career, uh, in programming or designing or freelancing or whatever you do. Make sure that you learn that specific language, that specific technology uh, to its max. So try to be expert in that language because uh, if you are learning Python and there are not too many jobs right now uh, in Python or uh, maybe in your area, uh, if you like Python, keep on struggling with it, keep on uh, getting expert in it because after 8 or 10 years, 
there will be no match for you okay so after 10 years working with python there will be very less people around you who are who have uh, uh, 10 years experience in python similarly for other things i always suggest my students and whoever uh, comes to you know discuss freelancing with me that what i sh what should i do is only tip i give is that try to uh, become an expert in something so try to uh, make your focus like just like a laser focus laser is you can see laser is a light it can travel very far because it has just one frequency or maybe two but the normal light it doesn't travel too far because uh, it has multiple frequencies so just like a laser become a laser don't uh, become a fluorescent bulb or light or something like that uh, i hope you have enjoyed this lesson or video or whatever you call it tutorial uh, if you have any questions you can ask me below and uh, see you soon in the next video don't forget to like it and subscribe take care bye